Hey everybody, we just got done reading at the old haunted house and it's getting closer and closer to Halloween. And in that book, there were lots of goblins and ghouls and witches and spiders. And I thought for our project today, we would make a shape monster. And this is an example. Um, this is like a cloud shape. His legs are long rectangles. He's got circles for his eyes. He's got little square teeth. His antennas are um, long rectangles. And that's kind of what we're gonna be doing. Um, now everybody is gonna get a different shape. So my project is not gonna look like your project just because um, we have different shapes. Some of you might have a guy who is a cloud. Um, you might have a triangle to work with. Um, I think today I'm actually going to be using the star and making a monster out of this star. So let's go ahead and get our supplies ready. You're going to need the um, your baggie of goodies. Um, you might need some scissors and also a glue stick. Oh, there's my glue stick. Uh, a glue stick to glue, to glue everything down. Um, so the first thing we should do is pour out, collect all of our goodies so we know what we have to work with. Um, because we all have different shapes in our bags. Um, and a lot of them are going to be the same, but maybe not necessarily. So if we get everything out, we can take an inventory, exact, see exactly what we have to work with. Um, and then we'll be able to design our best shape monster possible. I'm going to angle down my camera here and I've got my star shape. So that's going to be the body that I'll be working with. And then let's see, I've got some circles. Those would be really good eyes. I even have some of the black pupils to put in the center of the eyes. Um, it looks like I have, let's see here, two half circles or semi-circles. And I mean, you could use this if you wanted to cut open, cut a big smile out of it. Um, because there's two, you might be able to do like wings or they could maybe be ears on the top of if you were doing, if you had a square or an oval or a big rectangle, you might be able to use these as ears. There are scraps of paper that you can use for legs or arms or antennas. Um, you might wanna cut little pieces of hair to put at the top to have little hair sticking up. If there's a rectangle that you can cut down to make a mouth. And let me show you, that's what I did with this guy. I cut mine a little smaller so it would fit on my shape. And then um, I had some white, oh, in this container, in this package, there are a bunch of white little triangles. I don't know if you can see that very well, let me see. white small triangles. These would be good for sharp little teeth in a mouth. So that's what we have to work with and let's get started. Let me kind of clear my area. I'm already coming up with some ideas based off of what I'm seeing here. So let's see. I think the first thing I'm going to do is do something with the eyes and I've got two black circles too. Maybe I can do, let's see, I could do something like that. That could maybe work or, cause that looks, he looks like a mean monster. Doesn't he kind of look like a mean monster with white like that? That could be an idea. Hmm, or, ooh, no, I think I've caught up, come up with something better. He's going to have antenna eyes, I think. Maybe red. Yep. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut and then cut. Okay. Not perfect, and that's okay. So. 
first thing I'm going to do is figure out how tall I want these antenna eyes to be. And I think I want them pretty tall. So I'm going to glue here and here. And then like that. Okay. So those are going to be some antenna eyes. And I'm going to glue this black circle at the top. And then this black circle over here at the top. And then I'm going to use those little itty bitty triangles and put them like that. Oh yeah. All right. And then I think I'm going to give him one eye right in the center there. So he kind of has antenna eyes up here maybe, but he also has a true eye right here in the center. So glue that down and then I've got my little white, or sorry, my little black circle. I'm gonna put right there. Okay, now let's see here. Um, oh, we should do his mouth. So I've got my black rectangle and it's just too big for this star. So I'm going to have to cut this guy a little bit. So let's just cut it right in half. So we had a one rectangle. Now we've got two rectangles. And let's see. Should I make it a little smaller? Maybe a little smaller. It just looks a little big. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Cut it off right about there. Okay. So now his mouth is going to go right underneath that eye. Let's see here. Right like that. Now I've got more of those little tiny white triangles. So he is going to have some sharp teeth in his mouth. Glue it. And these little triangles are hard to work with. So if you're having problems, just keep trying or ask a grown up for help because they are a little difficult to work with, these little teeth. And now you don't have to add teeth either. If you don't want to have teeth, you don't have to have teeth. So, so far, that's what my guy looks like. Not too shabby. Those really don't look like eyes up here, though, do they? They just kind of look like antennas. Maybe they have some special power. I'm not sure. I don't know for sure. Maybe I'll have to think of a special power for him to have. So I do have some other scraps of paper. I just don't know for sure what I want to do with them. Um, I mean, I talked about adding wings. But I don't know if a star, how he would be with wings. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it looks okay, but not great. I don't think a star, I mean, he's a star. He's up in the sky. Chances are he doesn't even need wings to fly, huh? And he already looks like he has some good feet to walk if he wasn't going to fly. So who knows? I think maybe I'm done with this guy. Maybe I'm done with my little star um, shape monster. So yeah, that was it. Today's project was pretty fun. Oh, well, I enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, we're getting close to Halloween. I'm super excited because I love Halloween. So here are my two shape monsters. I hope to see your shape monsters if you guys want to share them with us. And um, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay?